So Iceland is probably the last place I would expect to see a supercar and well, I was right. But in continuation of my car spotting in foreign cities series, I figured I would change it up a bit. I see there are loads of awesome SUVs in this city of Reykjavik. So I'm gonna walk around aimlessly for a few hours and see what kind of cool SUVs or modified trucks I can find. Also, I'm gonna change it up a bit. I'm not gonna play music and roll B-roll shots. I'm just gonna talk to you guys with the camera. So come along for the ride. Hope you enjoy. Also, it's freezing cold. Again, I say freezing very lightly because I'm Sri Lankan and Sri Lankans are not used to temperatures under 21 degrees. So hopefully, Vanellope Von Schweetz's jacket or hoodie, a uh, pair of jeans and sneakers can keep me warm for the time that I'm out here. So yeah, let's go car spotting in Reykjavik, shall we? Now I've been here for about a day and I've noticed there are loads of American big SUVs like Navigators, Expeditions, Explorers, Trailblazers. Um, and weird, weird, because it's very different to every other European city I've been to. Everyone else just drives Polos, Yaris's, Skoda's, small cars. So it's very, very interesting to see the contrast between, um, you know, Scandinavia, Southern Europe, and then just Iceland with these big, brash American SUVs. Mitsubishi Pajero, good man. Toyota Land Cruiser. These aren't called Prados in Europe, they're called Land Cruisers. Uh, the Prado's just been taken out, I guess. Uh, also, we see a lot of these Sprinter vans. Loads of those roaming around. Here, there's one GMC Yukon Denali. I see you, boy. Toyota Land Cruiser. Nice fenders on that bad boy. Shout out to my friend Kian. He absolutely loves G-Wagons. And well, there's one right there. An old wide-body Sangyong Rexton and an old wide-body Prado 90. That's the series, so the one I have is called a 150. This is called a one, this is called a 90. Fiat Fremont, Kia Sorento, Ford Explorer Sport Track. Yes, in case you guys don't know, in Europe, there is a Dodge Journey rebadged as the Fiat Fremont. Jeep Cherokee, Suzuki Vitara, Mazda CX. Three, Jaguar F-Pace, Ford Transit, ooh, Navara, another Sprinter, Ford Edge, the Ski Box, Stradman Nation, all the way out here in Iceland. Check that out, look at that monster. That's what I'm talking about, Arctic exploration at its finest, look at that. There we go, wide body land cruiser, look at that thing. That guy's living it up in that Hilux. Look at that. Who needs an apartment? Just get a Hilux and put an RV on the back of it. Brilliant. I'm seeing a lot of Japanese cars, which makes me wonder how low is the import tax? And look, Japanese car, Japanese car, Japanese car, Corolla Yaris, uh, Avensis, um, Mazda, RAV4. The import tax must not be that high then if there are so many Japanese cars all the way out here. See what I mean? Big American cars, Ford Explorer, Toyota RAV4, Honda HRV, Toyota CHR, Nissan Qashqai, or as Top Gear, Top Gear would call it, the Nissan Kangquat, which I don't know how they made that up, but to each its own. Suzuki Jimny with a massive ski box. Another, another Qashqai. Ford Explorer. Discovery. Another Discovery. Oh, looky here, we have an Audi Q7. And what's that coming up? It's a Porsche Cayenne Macan, I can't tell from a distance. Volvo XC60. Porsche Cayenne. Wonderful. Land Rover Discovery Cadillac Escalade ESV Look at that, crazy A Subaru Tribeca, I've never seen one of those before VW Tiguan Alright, so all the time I was on the main road I'm going to switch to the side streets and see if anything interesting is back here Probably the same Discovery that we saw and a Volvo XC90 
Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Again, I know it's not an SUV, but a Chrysler PT Cruiser. Everyone's gonna hate me for this, but I might be the only car guy in the world who actually likes the PT Cruiser. And now I'm probably gonna lose subscribers drastically. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, what do you know? Another Mercedes Sprinter van. Oh look, a Toyota Land Cruiser. How fitting. Oh look, an actual Land Cruiser. Don't worry, bro. You'll get there someday. Someday you'll be as good as him. Just keep working hard, don't worry. Can't quite tell whether that's a Kodiak or a Korok, but uh, it's one of the two. Another Prado, oops, sorry, Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser, Land Cruiser, Rogue slash X-Trail. Ooh, Mustang. Most exotic car I've seen so far. Another Toyota Land Cruiser, ooh. Pajero, Pajero, I see you. Toyota Highlander, or Kluger as it's called here. Wait, is it called Kluger or Highlander? Let me check. Oh, it's called Highlander here. Okay, cool, not Kluger. That's in Australia. Toyota Land Cruiser. New Suzuki Jimny. This is the new Suzuki Jimny. I'm very intrigued by these. I like really I really like these. Lexus NX, now made Lexus RX. Audi SQ5. Honda HRV. Renault Kajar. Land Rover Defender. Nissan Armada. Land Rover Discovery Sport. Ooh, V8, 5.6, nice. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Nice. That's interesting, a kitted out Suzuki Jimny. How about that, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Mercedes ML. That Jimny is sick though. Thank you Yaris for ruining my shot, but look at that, that's cool. I wonder what would cost more to import. A Japanese car or an American car? Or did they import Japanese cars from America? Because America uses right, uh, left hand drive, so. I don't know, any Icelandics watching? Comment below, I'm actually curious. Land Rover Discovery. Kits it out Hilux. Wide body, right tires. Look at those, nice. Prado 90. This definitely wouldn't have been imported from the States because, well, you don't get these in the States. That's cool, the Jeep Renegade. Another Discovery Sport. Another Jimny. Sorento. Another thing I've noticed is that Icelandic like mumsy cars. What I mean by that is like they like big SUVs. Jeep Renegade, big SUVs. Jeep Renegade, Suzuki Jimny, Land Rover Discovery, Land Cruisers, Pajeros. A GU Y61 Patrol. That's cool. That's the SE model. Jeep Grand Cherokee, Pajero Sport. These are very rare, the Terracons. They're very rare in Sri Lanka. Wide body, good wheels. There are only, I think, five Terracons in all of Sri Lanka. Super rare. Mercedes Vito, Land Rover Defender. As you can see, there's no Prado badging. The Prado badging would be on the Chrome. So it's a Land Cruiser Prado there. There you are, Land Cruiser. Ford, I think it's an F250, Super Duty. Really cool. No, I think it's a 350. I'm not too sure. I'm not too big on my big American trucks. G-Wagon spotted. Grand Cherokee Laredo. Is that a Laredo? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a Wrangler and a Sport in there. Prado 90. Actually, in the UK, they never had a car called the Prado. They had what's called, that's called a Land Cruiser Colorado. Back on the main road, Pajero Land Cruiser. 
Prado 90 with knobbly tires. Chevy Suburban. Look at that, massive. And uh, Nissan Navara. Big Land Cruiser, one of the few 200 theory Land Cruisers that I've actually seen. Uh, some here. The new Toyota RAV4. I'm not in Reykjavik, but near the Golden Waterfall. I just could not, not show this. Look at this thing. Look at those tires. Holy crap. In the wise words of the Stradman, Girth Nation. All right, forget about that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You know, just chilling. Not a big deal. Massive Ford excursion. You know, just, just chilling. Not, not, nothing out of the ordinary. You know. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. So I thought the wheels on my Prado was big. They're 20 inches. Yeah, no, they're um, they're office chair wheels compared to this. Oh, P the Juke, Cascai Outlander Sportage, Prado. Prado, Prado, Prado. I know they're called Pro uh, Land Cruises, but just go with it. And we're gonna finish this video off with a Land Cruiser and a jeep um crap what is this liberty no jeep what is patriot <laughs> land cruiser and patriot thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video this is what reykjavik or icelandic car culture is like i hope you enjoyed drive safely till then